Hello, welcome back to the Forge. This is actually episode one of the uh, Fantasy Dagger Build Challenge. Um, this was going to be episode two, but episode one originally was just a massive fail. I may throw in clips here and there, somewhere along the way, maybe after this build is done, but it it was... It went from a learning experience to failure. <laughs> Everything went too too far gone, uh, but I learned a whole lot from from that experience. And uh, we're gonna we've I've got in this video we're gonna do the central uh, the core billet, um, and then in the next video that will hopefully come out next week we're at least going to show the the forge welding of the edge billets and maybe even the assembly of the blade. I hope, but we'll see how much how far we get with that. Um, but anyway, I'd like for you to go ahead and come along, and uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, and by the way, I think I've settled on a name for the blade. It's going to be a Dragon Rider Captain's, not Dragon Rider maybe, but Dra Dragon Army's Captain's Dagger. There'll be a story about that. Um, I've welded up several, or attempted to weld up several central billets, and I've had issues with each and every one of them. Um, I'm not sticking my welds somewhere along the way. There's always a seam somewhere deep in the piece that's not stuck. So, we're gonna start over. What I got here is a piece of uh, wrought iron anchor chain that I got off of, uh, you, um, where did I get it? eBay. We're gonna cut it and uh, forge it out and see what we can come up with. I hope this is a good high quality iron. I've got another piece over here that's not as high quality, but uh, I'll fold it, whatever I need to do with it, and uh, we're going to throw this in the vise and cut it in two and see what we can do with it. There is only the slightest piece holding it together there. I'm just going to knock that loose when I throw it in the forge. Um, we'll straighten it out and flatten it out and see what comes of it. I hope you can see that in there. I don't know. I can see it, but uh, I don't know what the camera's doing. The thing about wrought iron is you either work it hot or not at all. Those are your choices. So I'm working it up at least close to a welding heat, preferably at a welding heat before I pull it out and start uh, straightening it in the vise. So that's where I'll meet you next. All I'm wanting to do here is separate these two. separated I'm going to heat this end and start straightening things out Exactly the way I intended it. 
Yeah, I know. Um, I don't have my tools where they belong, so I'm going to lose this heat. So I'll meet you back over in the ammo. We're going to work at it there over the horn. Uh, the tongues aren't really strong enough for me to bend it that way. Alright, let's try this again, y'all. So long story short, I've decided that this is too unwieldy as it is. Uh, I can't fit it, now that I've opened it a little bit, I can't fit it back in my gas forge completely. So I'm just gonna cut it in two and work each piece individually, see what I get out of, of each one and proceed from there. Cause I really wanna use as little rot as I can in this. Um, so I'll have some for more, par, uh, more projects or even more of this project. But we'll see how it all works out. So I'm gonna cut it in two and I'll get back with you once that's done. So, ouch, tongue's hot, gloves. <laughs> I'm not overly fond of the gas forge, if you want my honest opinion. Um, it gets way too hot in the forge with it. Um, all that heat blows straight at me. Anyway, here's where I broke it, uh, last little bit. You can see a lot of grain in there. I would like, well, you know what? We're just gonna forge it out and see what comes. I'd like to see the grain and see what I got to do with it. We're going to forge it though and see what happens. This is half of it, the other half still in the vise. Alright, so the goal here is just to straighten. I do not like having a glove on my hammer hand. I don't have the control I want. I think I'm going to take this in back to the forge, it's cooler, and uh, it was toward the door, so I'm going to heat that up and continue to straighten. on its side like that the hammer and this isn't the first time this has happened and the power hammer starts off real slow like um bro you sure you want to do it like that <laughs> so, anyway i'm gonna get this end squared up like the other end and we'll go from there i think i'm running out of gas in my well that's got to turn on take this to the anvil and I'll take you along but uh, let's see how thick it is and how wide it is uh, let's see if I want to thin it out for you. yeah I'm losing uh, pressure on my gas forge so we're down to about three quarters of an inch thick roughly thereabouts like about an inch and a sixteenth, inch and an eighth wide. So I want to square it up and um, then I'm going to look at folding and uh, forging it. But right now I'm going to have to shut the forge down. It might be tomorrow before I can get back to this. Because the forge has to cool so that I can move it out of the way of my solid fuel, uh, solid fuel forge or go get gas. Disappointed.
so I didn't intend to break it um, completely in two but the first cut that I made uh, when I was working on the second one gave me a little trouble and the first one broke so I come I just went ahead and completely cut the second one also uh, and I'm out of gas from a forge so what we're gonna do is just gonna let it uh, and I'm out of breath too need to go get something to drink what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit and I'm gonna hit it with an angle grinder and clean the surfaces up and uh, it's gonna be forge welded back together but let's see exactly what I do with it when I forge weld it okay first thing that'll strike you is that these ends are in terrible shape and they are um, but you'll see thinner pieces here and maybe here uh, those there are two one on each outside and then two in the center also three billets of uh, or three pieces of wrought if you'll remember and then I put in four pieces of three layers of saw steel um, and when I welded up the two outer billets of saw steel, I, I realized that it was better to uh, try to weld all the way around them and then stick them in the fire and very carefully weld them together. I'm hoping that everything is taken. Um, what I'm going to do now is cut off these nasty ends and hopefully get rid of any imperfections there. And then I'm going to grind the piece clean. And then I'll decide whether or not, depending on the time, if I should take lunch and we'll get back to this. Um, next step after that will be drawing out and uh, squaring up. Another goal here is to get this small enough for a good set of tongs to hold on to. Let's go out of this Well, it's morning. I've got this piece. Uh, I've got all mating surfaces cleaned up on this piece. I've got it tack welded together. Uh, I started to run a bead all the way down, but there's some unevenness here, and I'd be, end up getting. I'm afraid I didn't end up getting weld in my uh, in between the billets, and I don't want to do that. It's already going to be difficult enough to grind away. Um, so I decided to just tack weld it in spots. I'll still be using plenty of flux, and uh, we're gonna get on the roll. So let me get the fire started and I'll be right back with you. I chose to uh, set these welds by hand because I don't want any, any distortion in the pattern from the power hammer. I hope that didn't get all over my lens. Hoping to just start closing some things up as I work my way down the blade. All right, so I'm looking at uh, around 22 and a quarter inches on this piece. Um, now I've got for the next step. We're going to do some art. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to go to a smaller ruler that's more manageable. 
we're going to start down at one end and we're going to mark off uh, one inch segments. Go from side to side. Some of it's not quite an inch, well, it's an inch wide, but it kind of worms through here a little bit. After fiddling around a little bit, I turned the piece over and found that I have lines on this side that I can follow a little better. But what I'm doing right now is just laying out a one inch uh, grid uh, in a way. Um, this uh, ruler is an inch wide, and so I just bring it to my previous line like so, hold it down, and make the mark. I'm going to do that the full length of this piece. Uh... So this morning I got the uh, the bandsaw blades I needed. I finished cutting this piece out. Um, I am going to cut this off ultimately. Probably cut it off right here because there's some nastiness going on right there. Maybe I could forge it out. Maybe I'd forge it in and mess things up. But I'm going to lose that. But I'm not sure when I'm going to lose it. It might be a nice handle for me. I'll check it out with a pair of tongs. But we'll see. But now I got to fire up the forge. Get the gas hooked up. Fire up the forge. Yeah, we'll be doing it in the gas forge today. And we're going to take it to the power hammer and straighten it out. Alright, maybe we're hot enough. We do have a uh, rod in this. Come on. Take it to the anvil, straighten it out, and we're gonna flip it around and get this in. Flux it and continue. Now, um, what I've got here is far more than a dagger. It's more like a, at least a short sword here. Uh, let's see what we got. We're looking at, uh, after I cut everything off, 29 inches. That's nine inches over my projected finished product. Uh, I may go 22, 23, I don't know, but still. And that may eliminate some of what I, some of the defects that I may have. I'm going to bring you over here with me so we can take a walk together. Let's see. Right here, I'm not certain that that's welded. Let's get you close enough to seam there. But, I mean, I've got more hammering to do on this, and I may just do it at the anvil, hammering. Um, flux stuck to it there. It's fine. But uh, anyway, so this is coming along. 
once more I'm probably going to hit this with uh, maybe some flux but I'm definitely going to try to weld it one more time uh, this is going to be cut off again I'm just going over all my bases but now I'm down to straightening and bringing it to half inch square all right so that's the central core uh, the keen eyed among you will notice I've cut it off it's a little bit crooked I'll probably straighten that out before I totally quit on it uh, actually I know I will straighten that out um, so anyway that's it I've cut it off to 23 ish inches um, it'll give me plenty for what I need I'll clean up the ends both ends actually uh, before I assemble anything else to this so yeah all this left on this is a little bit of straightening you can see a little bit of the pattern beginning to emerge maybe if you look closely enough if you can't see that I'm not going to spoil it for you you will see it in, in its full glory hopefully very soon so anyway I'm going to uh, off camera I'm going to go ahead and straighten all this out you don't need to see all of that um, but yeah that's it all right, so yeah, that's the central billet, uh, the core, and uh, I was hoping to put this in with a, a much bigger video, but looking at multiple things here, there's already a lot that was done here. Uh, could make for a long video if I'm not careful. Also, I haven't been, I haven't put out videos in the last two weeks. This project has consumed me and been a lot of failures, quite frankly. One week I was at a show, the next week, and, and I didn't get it out, get a video out. Last week I didn't get a video out. So this week you're going to have a video and this is it um so yeah i'm looking forward to moving forward with this and uh we'll get this up for you just as quickly as possible if you found any value in this i would i'd love it if you would uh like it down in the uh hit the like button and um if you haven't subscribed please feel free to continue to watch the videos if you don't want to subscribe i'm I, i'm glad to have you along but if, if, you, if you would be so kind as to subscribe and hit the uh, little bell icon so that you get notifications, that would help me out a whole lot. Uh, as of this morning, we're sitting at 175 subscribers. Thank you, every single one of you. I appreciate that. Shooting for 500, hopefully by the end of the year, hopefully 1,000 by the end of the year. But I got to do a lot more videos and I got to get them out to a lot more people before that happens. So yeah, please like and, and comment and subscribe and even share this video. We're going to close it out. We'll catch you next time.